All right, hello everyone. It is your buddy from Vietnam coming with you uh, to have a special announcement or a message or um, I just wanted to clarify a few things, okay? About my style of a YouTuber, okay? And the only reason I do, uh, I'm making this video is that there was some uh, misunderstanding between uh, me uh, and my students and some friends about uh, my video that I did on the uh, Star Wars retro uh, review having two different versions, okay? I just want to make it clear I am against any kind of trimming, editing, cutting, anything that removes the authenticity of the way that I speak the way that I talk, my mannerisms. If I if I mess up on a word, if I mispronounce a word, okay, I don't want that cut out. If I if I sit here and I think for a few seconds, that is who I am. That is what makes me me. Atticus, okay? So there's a lot of YouTube channels, a lot of YouTubers that prefer this approach of um here, let me sit down. Let me show you guys the view real quick. Got some kids out there in a monster truck <laughs> doing their thing. Beautiful, not really, it's up sunny. Ugh. Horrible, hot, sunny Vietnam day. But we, yeah, we there's YouTubers out there that prefer to every second be. I was walking yesterday, we were doing it, but we can't say that. Anyways, I uh, stop, but, but, but like, no. Um, it's a stylistic choice, okay? So whenever you're making videos, you can decide two different things. Do you want to just let it go? Do you want to make a script? Do you want to write out everything you want to say? Do you want to have visuals? Have this whole thing, you know, this whole production and planning behind it? Or are you more of a creator that just likes to let it come from the heart, come from the mind? Capture the moment. And that is the kind of person that I am. All my videos, be it from the ones where I just sit at the lake and I just talk about philosophy, talk about my life, from my motorcycle adventures to showing you around Lao Kai, to even my Dune reviews. All that, 100% just comes from my heart, just comes from my mind. None of that is scripted. None of that is uh, pre-planned. None of that is cut. So if I mispronounce something, like I mispronounced the Harkonnens, I think I called them the Harkonnens or something like that. Like, okay, I like that. Or the Betty, I mean, I couldn't remember the Benny Jester, you know, and I called him the Betty Jester or whatever. That is what gives you character. So any of you uh, aspiring YouTubers, let me give you some advice about what's, what's helped me be successful, okay? Be authentic. I've done a survey about why people subscribe to me and why people... Uh, choose to become a uh, Patreon member to my channel and almost all of them say it's because you're authentic because they're uh, because you're real and part of being real is just like being real about who you are you don't need to cover up your mistakes you don't need to appear perfect you don't need to be appear smarter than the other guy you don't need to be appear to be smart and uh, know everything like because because you don't we all know every time that there's a, a cut or a trim It's because you didn't know something or it's because you made a mistake or that you're insecure about something. Okay um, It's best Just to let your conversation flow and I've tried to tell um, You know a few friends and people this but you know ultimately I respect I'm one of those kind of people like look if it's your, you know, you're an artist. If you're a YouTuber, you're an artist. It's however you prefer. But if you're going to use me and my creations, my art, then you're going you're, you're gonna to keep it true to the nature of which I, I, I make it. So there will be no cuts. There will be no editings. There will be no... I asked you yesterday I was walking. And today it's rainy, but... Like, no... No, there's going to be moments like this, okay? Yeah, so, um... Yeah, yeah, that's what I would... There's going to be moments like that, because that's who I am. 
I'm a, I'm a thinker. I like to ponder, okay? I find that there is... There is feeling that could be found in a review or a story or just a moment in time captured on YouTube by capturing even the most, you know, even the most minuscule, uh, meaningless, what seems at that moment, moments. Uh, those moments where you might don't know what to say, but because of that leads to something that will be, you know, you will know what to say, if that makes sense. Or when you you tongue tie, you tongue twist, or you, you you don't know how to get out a certain uh, your thoughts. Okay, well that shows the viewer how your thought process works. That gives you a personality. That gives you a character. Okay, so as you've noticed with me a lot of times that I never look at the camera. A lot of times I will stop the pause, and I think I will start a process. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll pause for a second. I'll use my hand gestures. Like, that's part of my character, okay? That is who I am. And every time you edit that, every time you trim that out, every time you cut that, you remove my personality. You remove my brand. You remove my style. And you remove what makes me authentic. So, I wanted to just explain why there, you know, why that misunderstanding happened. Nothing was done, uh, you know, nothing's done in bad, uh, bad faith. You know, there's no bad, there's no bad actors. There's no good or right way to make a YouTube video. You, you know what I mean? Like, there's no, um, I'm not going to sit here and say that me going, uh, uh, you know, is better. But I am going to say this, that me going, uh, uh, is me. It's how I do YouTube. And it's how I'm always going to do, do YouTube. Now, there's been two videos which I did editing. One was out of respect for Vietnam. It was when I visited uh, Ho Chi Minh's um, you know, burial and uh, mourning ceremony. And the other one was for National Viet Vietnam Day, Vietnamese Day, um, which I didn't even do the editing. It was somebody special to me, um, which was you know, a great honor. 